Hi everyone, it's Katie with the Awesome Cast, and today we're at Alpha Lab Gear talking with Identified Technologies. As you notice, there's a pretty cool friend on the table. And I'm also talking with a pretty cool guy. You are? I'm Dick Zhang with Identified Technologies. And what is this? <laughs> ah, so this is, um, this is our drone and dock station platform. Uh, and just to give you a quick overview of Identified and what we use this for, um, you know, we see a, a lot on construction sites and energy sites where um, these companies need information and surveying on the sites and they're dangerous, they're sending you know, boots on the ground or they're deploying commercial planes and helicopters mm -hmm. uh, to get this information and it's expensive, it's slow, it's dangerous, it's unsafe. Um, so we've created this drone and dock station uh, system to go out and collect this information provided to them but do it faster, cheaper uh, and safer than anything that was uh, possible. Uh, for them before this. And so just to give you a quick overview of the system, the first part is the actual drone. Um, this is the guy that does all the data collection and uh, uh, he's able to go out fly autonomously over the site, mm -hmm. collects whatever information is requested from the customer, and then when he's done with his data collection or when he's low on battery, he'll come back and land on the actual dock station. And uh, the dock station sits on the customer site and it's got uh, the capabilities to charge and swap out batteries, it can handle, handle data uh, processing, um, it'll offload data from the drone and get it up to the, uh, get it up to the cloud so our customers have immediate access to it. Um, and it can store the drone on the site uh, for long-term uh, long missions. So, you know, now instead of having to go out and, you know, unplug batteries, plug in batteries, use a controller, uh, turn on cameras and, and whatnot, it's, uh, you know, it's all automated. So, um, customers like it a lot because it's a, you know, it's a solution. It's easy to use and there's no uh, learning that goes into, <laughs> goes into this robot. <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah. It amazes me the size and the portability of yeah. it. Yeah, so, um, you know, drones have become uh, really popular uh, online and uh, uh, with a lot of action sports over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. largely because, you know, the components that go into these things have become uh, commoditized. They're cheap, they're easy to find, uh, and they're a lot smaller than they used to be. And so you used to see um, uh, these helicopters that, uh, that were the drones of two decades ago, and there are these huge... Uh, you know, helicopters that they, yeah. that they use, and now, now you see motors that uh, are less than an inch across, and um, battery capacity has gone way up. So, uh, uh, the opportunity to make these things smaller, lightweight, efficient, more agile has uh, really gone up. Where did the idea come from? Were you just brainstorming? Were you with some friends? It just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I mean, I'm a mechanical engineer by training from um, uh, the University of Pennsylvania, and back when I was on campus, I'd. Uh, participated in a, in a business plan competition, uh, which basically said, you know, Penn's got all this great tech, find something to do with it and propose a business. And so he said, you know, let's take some of the, the quad order technology that they had. Uh, and so we proposed a, a, a platform to actually help our soldiers detect IEDs, improvised explosive devices and landmines uh, and use this as a safety tool. Um, and then we were fortunate enough to do well, you know, I entered with a couple of buddies, uh, won that competition and took the moment, momentum from there and kick-started Identified Technologies. Uh, I mean, since then, you know, we've obviously, uh, you know, pivot is the, the industry term, but we've, you know, done a lot of customer engagement and realized that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that need uh, aerial shots and surveying help. Uh, and we've just decided that energy construction are the two places that we want to attack first. So what's it like working for Alpha Lab Gear? What's it like working in this facility? <laughs> yeah, so uh, the quick highlight of Alpha Lab Gear is that uh, they bring you into the facility for, uh, for just shy of a year. Mm -hmm. um, they put you around this great support network and uh, mentor, mentor network. Uh, provide you the office, give you a little bit of uh, financial support, mm -hmm. uh, and then you know help you become a uh, 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 an attractive investment opportunity and attractive business mm -hmm. um, through through the the eight month nine month program. Uh, and so you know, obviously the whole program is great. I've had the time of my life here at Alpha Lab Gear. Uh, I've made friends of uh, you know life lifelong friends here, um, hands down. Um, but if if you were to ask me my favorite part of the program. I would say it's definitely the uh, 
um, that fraternal bond that, that you create with everybody. And, uh, you know, we've got all these garages here with these different companies. There's something to be said about working at 4 a.m., you know, when things are going wrong, you know, and you've got a big demo the next day. Uh, there's something to be said about, uh, you know, people in the other offices being there to support you and, and help you. And, uh, you know, you'd be surprised how often it's 4 in the morning and things are not going, you know, the way they should. And people will literally drop what they're doing. Come in your office, you know, everybody picks up an expo marker, starts drawing on the board, and, and you know, by 5.30 in the morning, we figure out uh, figure out a, a workaround. So it, it really is incredible. That's just, that's amazing to me yeah. that everybody is so supportive yeah. because you all have these amazing ideas, and not that you're in competition with each other, yeah. but you're still kind of pushing yourself and learning. And um, it's it's amazing that everybody's out to help each other and it's yeah. not just an, yeah. an all for one thing and it's, it's yeah. amazing to see and the thing i keep bringing up is why why is this happening in pittsburgh why why is pittsburgh getting this attention what do you think yeah so i uh, i mean i i come from philly and um pittsburgh was 100 percent off my radar <laughs> Before uh, Alpha Lab Gear and uh, and Innovation Works, but uh, since coming to Pittsburgh, I've realized that people here just have a lot of pride in the city, have a lot of pride in um, in what's going on, and the entrepreneurial community definitely has a lot of pride in uh, everything that's happened over the last you know half decade, decade. Um, and I'm just excited to be a part of this. You know, we see everybody at Alpha Lab Gear, Alpha Lab Innovation Works, and uh, a lot of the other communities here are just so proud of, of being here. I, I'm, I'm so glad. I feel so lucky to be, uh, be a, a part of all of it. Um, so I'm glad I came out to Pittsburgh. We're glad you're here, too. This is absolutely amazing. Um, what's next? What, what happens now? Yeah, so... Um, the vision for Identified and you know where we want to go with this is um, we want to make this the method of choice for data capture um, uh, for commercial organizations and um, we want to help you know not just the construction companies and not just uh, the energy companies but also the mining, the agriculture, the farmers, right, the vineyard owners. Um, uh, definitely help emergency response crews, help uh, safety teams at nuclear sites. Um, yeah, there's just you know tons and tons of people that that we can help out, and uh, you know over the next couple of years we want to make this you know the platform easy to use, consistent, reliable, rugged, uh, and captures useful information. And uh, the a discussion lately, especially, has been about the FAA and, and the regulations. Where are you guys with that? Yeah, so. Um, you know, we, we operate all of our all of our vehicles uh, within their protocols. Keep it under 400 mm -hmm. feet and out of commercial airspace where there's real planes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep it away from uh, away from airports. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, the policy is still under development and review uh, uh, until next year, uh, about middle or end of next year. Uh, but you know, the outlook for what we're doing uh, by all measures is is really positive because. Uh, the FAA has a lot of concerns with people flying over New York City where there's people that can get hurt, there's people with privacy concerns and, uh, uh, and things like that. But we're on these remote sites, these commercial sites where there's not a lot of people, it's dangerous. Uh, and that's actually why we're valuable. Um, and you know, we're really, we're looking forward to the regulation because it'll be nice to have, a, have clarity um, and, and have a process around getting this certified. So, uh, you know, looking forward to the regulation. <laughs> where can people find you at? Yeah, so we're online at www.identifiedtechtech.com. Uh, our Twitter handle is Identified Tech, T E C H. Um, and you know, feel free to stop by on the website, Facebook page, Twitter. Uh, we'll be there.